Okay, Dad, I would like to hear the story about the night that you had all the milk cans in the pony cart and you stopped to play ball on the way home from school. Back when, uh, when we were still living here, when I was still going to East Canton School. Uh, every morning during the summertime, I would oh, put the pony on a four-wheel cart and haul cream up to the cream room. It was there in East Canton. There's Vic Savile Faye Van Dyke, Floyd Hartness, and Ben Wright, and I would take them, there'd be four milk cans, and I'd take them over to the creamery, and... Uh, where was the creamery? The creamery was right close there, right near where the... Uh, behind Jim Richards. Behind home. Richard, or, or where okay. the bowling, where they used to have right the bowling. Right in East Canton. Right there okay. in East Canton. And then I would uh, come back and... Uh, help. This was in the summertime, and I'd help on the farm. I was probably about uh, 12, 14 years old. And this one morning, there were three or four boys playing ball after I took care of the uh, cream at the creamery. And I tied Trixie, that was the name of the pony that I was driving. I tied her there and, and went over and played ball probably for an hour. And I came back and Trixie was gone. She had slipped her, her halter off, and of course she always ran home when she got loose. And I met Dad coming back up with her on the wagon, and he was picking up those milk cans that fell out of the wagon as Trixie was going home. And, uh, and he used to say that was the last time I played uh, ball with the boys at East Canton. I came home and uh, stayed home all day. But uh, it was not a funny thing for me when I met Dad, my father, coming up uh, to find me. And uh, I had a lot of fun telling about it and because it was kind of silly. Do you want to tell them about your boiling the maple syrup? Collecting the sap and boiling it. Then and uh, another thing that I helped, this is I was older then, I, I was not, I was still going to school, but uh, Dad and I used to tap the sugar bush, and it was my job to, when I was home. You mean school, maple, maple trees, right? Maple trees. Yeah. When I was home at night, I'd do the boiling besides uh, help do the chores and milk cows. We milked the cows all by hand. And this one night, I put a more sap in the pan up at the sap house, and uh, and it was time to go to bed. And I went to bed, and uh, shortly after that, the fire got too hot, and it started to burn the maple syrup that uh, was in the pan. And I got a knock on the door, and I went up, and that was the last time that I went to bed with the. A sugar shiny full of wood in the sap pan, and we probably lost at least 10 gallons of syrup, uh, which was. Tell them what the price of syrup was there. Back that, that, that I know Dad used to take for the syrup uh, to Elmara and get five dollars a gallon. Now they'll come down here and give 25 or 30 dollars a gallon. But uh, so that, that was, was about 300 gallons of sap. Yeah, if you probably, lost 30 gallons yeah, of. Yeah. Ooh. And I heard about that just the one time, but that's all I needed.